Hello and welcome to a new episode of What's Out There. This is a collaboration with the Exoplanets channel who gave me the idea of dealing with the topic and it's a really fascinating one. Check out his channel, there's a lot of information about habitable exoplanets, thoughts about extraterrestrial intelligence and interstellar travel. Link is in the description. So whatever is going on in your life right now, however large your problems might seem, there is always something that is way larger. The universe. Why not look away from the screen for some time and spend the evening outside? You don't sleep a lot anyway, do you? If you find a place with little light pollution, you can look up and marvel at the countless dots up there which are gigantic fusion reactors, as large as our sun at least, way larger than the world you're standing on. The light from them traveled tens, hundreds or in the case of the Andromeda galaxy, millions of years before finishing its journey in your eye. A few months ago I was able to see the band of the Milky Way clearly, being at a very remote place. Did not see that for a long time. This is our home galaxy, containing several hundred billion stars. And of course I asked myself the same question as mankind asked for several thousand years. What else is up there? In the 16th century an Italian philosopher named Giordano Bruno thought that in space there are countless constellations, suns and planets. We see only the suns because they give light. The planets remain invisible, for they are small and dark. There are also numberless earths circling around their suns. No worse and no less than this globe of ours. There were others who had a slightly different opinion and their approach was proving their point by hanging him upside down and burning him alive, so that was sorted out. It took until 1992 until the first planet around a star other than our Sun was discovered. And in the recent years there was a golden age of exoplanet discovery. You know about the planets around our Sun. So how many planets around other stars did we find already? Over 4000 planets. And counting. In 1990, two years before the first exoplanet was found, Carl Sagan had successfully persuaded NASA to do something special with the Voyager space probe. Already 10 years before, it successfully completed its mission by passing Jupiter and Saturn and was heading out of the solar system, which it actually leaves just now over 40 years after it had started. They turned it around and took pictures of the solar system, for no special reason. This is what Earth looked like. A dot. A dot that inspired Carl Sagan performing his famous pale blue dot speech. So if Earth already looks like this from inside our solar system, how could we ever hope finding a planet around another star, many light years away? We found several methods. Most of them are indirect by analyzing the movement of the star itself or its dimming when the planet passes in front of it. So we know the planet is there and can even tell the mass, size or distance from the host star. But we cannot see the planet itself. Well, Carl Sagan knew seeing something sometimes is important, even if it's just a dot. It is not a number on paper anymore. It changes your relation to it. You want to see more of it. You begin to wonder about what it actually looks like. Are there any cases where we could actually take a picture of an exoplanet, even if it was just a dot? Yes. Of the over 4000 planets we know of, there are a few we could actually make an image of. Sometimes it is in different wavelengths, mostly with the light of the star blocked out on the image but there is a visible dot. These images might be boring for some people, but for me they really make me feel closer to these giant worlds that revolve around the star, maybe longer than the Earth did around the Sun. Unaware that there is a thin film of life on one of the colleagues around the neighboring star. These are some of them. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Soon we will enter an age where these dots will become larger. We will analyze their atmosphere, make simulations of their weather, and we will find ones that are like Earth, nearly. This way we will learn more about what really makes Earth special. We know now on average every star in the universe has at least one planet. And the number of planets in our galaxy is several hundred billion. And there are hundreds of billions of galaxies. That means Earth is one of a number of planets in the universe that is hard to conceive. Keep that in mind the next time you look up. These dots up there are not alone. There are even more amazing things around them we cannot see. Yet. And most of all, also keep that in mind when looking back at Earth. Stay tuned for more about the topic of exoplanets. I'm Morn1415 and the real world is incredible.